Chapter 5, Mishnah 1. As we have learned above, a woman who gives birth must normally observe 7 or 14 days of Tuma, 33 or 60 days of Tahara, or 66, sorry, 33 or 66 days of Tahara, and then bring two offerings to complete her purification. The Mishnah discusses the law for a woman who gives birth by means of surgery. If a child was born by a cesarean section, the mother does not observe days of Tuma or days of Tahara for it and she is not obligated to bring a korban for it. An opposing view. Rabbi Shimon says such a child born by cesarean section is the same as a naturally born child, and all the laws of childbirth apply to his mother. The Mishnah discusses at what point a woman who experiences a discharge of blood becomes a nida. All women become tame as a nida when blood leaves their womb, even if the blood is still in the outer room, the canal that leads from the womb to outside the body and has not yet left the body. As it is stated regarding Anida, if a woman will be a Zava, her discharge from her flesh will be blood. The word Bivsara translates literally as in her flesh. From here we learn that she becomes Tame even while her discharge of blood is still inside her body. The Mishnah contrasts this law with the law of a man who becomes Tame because of a bodily discharge. But a Zava and a Balkari, who also become Tame by having a bodily discharge, do not become Tame unless the discharge that causes their tumor exits their bodies.